I'm Kurt. And hi, I'm Scott. And today we're going to show you how to restore that clean and shiny look to your floors with a deep scrub and recoat. What exactly is a deep scrub and recoat? Deep scrub and recoat is when you remove the top layer of floor finish that's become embedded with dirt and scratches and replace it with new floor finish. And the reason you deep scrub and recoat is that over time with burnishing and spray buffing, you just don't get that initial gloss that you had before. The dirt is embedded in the floor, you get these scratches, and it's just time to do a scrub and recoat. An example of that is, here we have our floor, two coats of seal and two finish after a floor has been stripped and, and waxed. Over a period of time, dirt gets embedded in the floor and it gets a worn look and the light just no longer reflects off the floor so you have no shine. What we're going to do is we're going to scrub off that top coat. And then once that top coat has been removed, we're going to replace it with one or two coats of new floor finish, which will then give us that bounce to the light and cause us to see that shiny floor that we've grown accustomed to. A good example, I guess, of what we've been talking about would be this heavily worn area, wouldn't it? Yes, areas such as this, in front of doorways, in hallways, in front of counters, those are the areas that get more traffic, get worn more, and need a scrub and recoat more often. So I guess the next question is, is there a recommended schedule for deep scrubbing and recoating your floors? We recommend a schedule that includes once a month scrub and recoat on your more worn areas and once a quarter scrub and recoat on the lesser worn areas. Well, join us as we show you now how to deep scrub and recoat. The best method of scrubbing prior to recoating the floor is using an auto scrubber equipped with green or blue scrub pads. And if you have a multi-clean dilution control center, you use product number six and fill up your clean water tank. If you don't have that system, we also have Century Maintenance Neutral Cleaner, Blue Blazes, or Red Lightning to choose from. Today we're going to use Red Lightning diluted at four ounces per gallon. Now we're ready for the deep scrub part of our uh, process and what we're going to do today is something called a double scrub. We're going to scrub with the floor pads down and with the water turned on but with no squeegee down and with no vacuum turned on. Now that I've made my first pass, it's time to pick it up. So I'm ready to drop the squeegee and to start picking it up. And I'll rinse behind you and damp mop. or if you have areas that are too small to get into with an auto scrubber, what's the system that you use for, to deep scrub those areas? You'd scrub and vacuum using a uh, 175 RPM floor machine and a wet dry vac. Scrub it, vacuum it up, mop up your spots, and then you're ready for waxing. In fact, why don't I go ahead, I'll put down the red lightning. And I'll get the floor machine ready. We'll do this section here. Ready. And I'll go ahead and start scrubbing it. We've got on this floor machine, like Kirk said, it was a 175 RPM floor machine, and it's already got fixed on it a green scrub pad. And what I'm doing, I'm slightly overlapping as I go, so they make sure it comes out nice and even. And as soon as I finish, we'll go ahead and pick it up. In fact, I think that's going to just about do it. Let me go one more pass, Kurt. There we go. All right. I'll pick it up. 